Today, Justin Trudeau has made a big announcement and it is about temporary foreign workers in Canada. And he has announced that Canada would be tightening the rules, in turn restricting the number of temporary foreign workers actually coming into Canada. Now, this is something which was in the expected lines and to be frank, we were expecting such measures to be taken because of the anti-immigrant sentiment rising in Canada and because there are elections next year. He announced that these restrictions would primarily be for the low-wage temporary foreign workers, but in the next couple of months, we can expect the same for high-wage temporary foreign workers as well. Now, why this video is important? Because this will give you an idea about the future of immigration in Canada, at least in the next couple of years. Let's have a look at the announcement first, and then we'll also talk about the hints that he has given for reducing the number of permanent residents in Canada as well. Today's economy is very different from it was two years ago. Inflation has started to come down, employment is higher, and we no longer need as many temporary foreign workers. We need Canadian businesses to invest in training and technology and not increasing their reliance on low-cost foreign labour. It's not fair to Canadians struggling to find a good job and it's not fair to those temporary foreign workers, some of whom are being mistreated and exploited. So I asked my minister to work on this over the summer, and we are taking action. We are tightening the rules and restricting eligibility to reduce the number of low-wage temporary foreign workers in Canada, with exceptions in certain industries like healthcare, construction, and food security. We'll also be looking at changes to the high-wage stream of the program as part of the Minister's expedited 90-day review. So to those who would complain about worker shortages, here's my message. There is no better time to hire and invest in Canadian workers. Okay, so this announcement was about the low-wage temporary foreign workers but as you might have heard we can expect similar announcements for high wage temporary foreign workers or maybe skilled workers as well. Now he was asked a question about permanent residents as well because in the last couple of years Canada has been increasing the quota for permanent residents every year but this time you may expect something different. You may expect reduction in the number of permanent residents now we don't have the details yet maybe we'll get that in september or in october but today justin trudeau actually hinted on that as well you mentioned some changes to the tfw program but are you considering broader changes maybe limiting immigration permanent residents other streams to kind of restore some balance to the labor market because as it stands right now a lot of newcomers are out of a job these are ongoing conversations that we're having that we're taking extremely seriously. Obviously, over the past number of years, from the pandemic to the massive labor shortages immediately following the pandemic to the situation we're in now, we need to keep making sure we're responding to the needs both of Canadians, of businesses, uh, and of the economy in general. And that's why we're constantly adjusting and making sure we're meeting the moment every step of the way. This fall, we'll be presenting for the first time an immigration levels plan that doesn't just talk about permanent residents, but also talks about temporary residents, whether it's foreign workers or others. And we're making sure that the entire package makes as much sense as possible for the needs of Canadians and for the needs of our economy. That's why the first steps we're taking today of reducing the number of uh, low-paid temporary foreign workers uh, that can come uh, work in this country is uh, part of the response. Over the next 90 days, we'll be looking at the higher wage streams of temporary workers, and we'll be looking at unemployment rates and opportunities to make further adjustments uh, over the course of this fall as we come forward with comprehensive level, level plans that'll respond to the reality that Canada's facing now and in years and decades to come. Okay guys, so now I hope you have an idea that the government is actually acknowledging the anti-immigration sentiment in Canada and because there are elections next year, you can expect more measures like that in the next few months. What do you think about this announcement? Do you think it's too little too late or just at the right time or do you think that this measure and this announcement is not appropriate, too harsh? Let me know your views in the comment section below.
If you want me to make detailed videos on any of these topics, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video.